The AG of Emerging Leaders Forum has called on the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, to enlighten the sponsored protesters on the Commissioner's constitutional mandate. Express need for them to know it's not driven by personal vendettas, political differences and tribal sentiments, but focused to uphold the rule of law and combating financial crime without fear or favour. This is following a report that Bandit said Sakajiki, Jengibi and Mada villages ablaze, killing innocent people, destroying properties and kidnapping. They described it as unfortunate and uncalled for. Ambassador August Time Samuel, convener of the group, made this call during a joint press conference of prominent groups under the ages of Emerging Leaders Forum of Nigeria on protests, security challenges and the way forward. The group expressed displeasure in political dimension and insecurity in Zamfara states in recent times. Says rather than spend the millions on character assassinating publications, the Zamfara state government should channel more energy to fight against insecurity in the state. It is important to add that playing politics and propaganda with the issue of insecurity in Zamfara state is destroying good efforts and genuine commitments to redeem the state and its people from these bandits who are projecting the state in bad light before national and international communities. Just a few hours ago, report had it that bandits in Sakajiki, Jangebe, and Mada villages, the bandits set these places I just mentioned ablaze, killing innocent people, destroying properties, and killing people too. We therefore see this unfortunate development as uncalled for, and we call for calm in Zafra State. Rather than spending millions on character assassination publications, the Zafra State government should as a matter of urgency, channel more effort and energy to the fight against insecurity in the state. One move by Matawale that further intensifies the, intensifies the gang up against him by enemies of the Bola Ahmed Tunubu was directive to the Defense Intelligence Agency, the DIA, most ago to go after those calling for military takeover of power in this country. Matawale described those calling for an undemocratic change of government as agents of darkness, warning that anyone caught would be treated would never be treated lightly. The group expressed the President Bola Ahmed Nebu's renewed hope agenda's commitment to prioritizing the welfare of the Nigerian military.